Hey everyone, I just wanted to share a little bit how, about how I go about um, finding products online, comparing it to uh, in Scan Power, which is what I use for scouting and listing. Um, you know, using Camel, 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 and all the other um, software out there available to me to uh, find out how many I can sell you know, how valuable it is, how much I'm going to make in profit, um, all that good stuff, decide if it's worth it. Um, you know, I don't do a whole lot of online sourcing, but I know there's a lot of people that do. Uh, so all I did was go to Walmart's main website, uh, typed in sauce. Uh, scrolled down, I think we're on the second page here. Um, just looking for things, you know, out of the ordinary that people nor would normally see. Uh, I've seen this golden curry sauce. Uh, all I did was copy and paste the title right into Scan Power Scout. And it found it and brought, brought up this listing. Uh, you don't have to search on Amazon, you don't have to do anything, you just go right into Scout. Uh, it brings up a long list, um, but I did see the first one uh, is for a pack of three, ranked 108,000. Uh, it's a lot higher than, than most people would do, but uh, I have no problem with it. At, at 266, um, that's right around $8. Um, there's no FBA sellers. Um, that's probably why it's ranked 108. It'd probably jump up to 60 or 70,000 once uh, you send some in. Um, at the merchant fulfilled price, uh, that's with shipping, 1746. But I would um, sell it for somewhere around 25. Uh, you get a payout of 17 dollars. Uh, you make about ten dollars profit, well over doubling your money, um, including shipping. You'd have to ship it, bag it, um, all that good stuff. Uh, if you copy the ASIN and go over to Keepa, um, I already brought it up, but I'll I'll, I'll show you how how to do it. Just copy and paste the ASIN right in here, and uh, it'll bring it up. Click on it, and uh, it's going to show you the three-month stats as a default, which is not loading. Here we go. It's showing you three months, but they only started at the beginning of February to start tracking. Uh, if you bring it down to a month, you can see every drop on this green line is going to be at least one sale. Um, you see it, it, it's checking it uh, every five days or so, so you, it could be getting multiple sales. But right here you have one drop every time it goes down is a sale. So it's one, two, three, and we know it's not at, uh, at this point right now, so it probably has four sales. Um, at least in the last month, but, but that's still 12 boxes. Uh, and it may be even more. But as you can see, it's it's had a high point of 175,000 and a low point of all the way down to 61,000. So, so you can see that it, it, it's selling and, you know, selling 12 items of an item in a month is only one every, you know, two and a half days. I, I think that's still pretty good uh, to have absolutely no competition. You'll be the only seller and you can sell it for more um, because you'll be the only FBA seller. Um, this is the reason why I like selling a little higher ranked items and you can just buy a bigger diversity uh, of items and, and you're going to get, um, you know, a lot or 100% of the buy box. Um, you know, that's really all there is to it. Um, 
you can see that Amazon has never been a seller on this item. Um, and the low price is, is probably due to being no FBA sellers. Um, you know, it's really easy to find items, and um, if you're based in the U.S., you just go down to your local store, go to your Walmart, it'll show you the locations. Uh, once you set up an account, I'm not logged in, but as soon as you log in, it'll show you your local stores. And it'll tell you if they're in stock, and if not, go to the one that has it in stock. And that's really all there is to it. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.